once the miniature is painted, all you're doing is you're adding um, um, a dirty wash to the bottom of the cloak on the miniature. Um, you can apply this by dry brushing um, or dabbing the uh, paint on. Um, there's many ways. I'm just going to show you a couple. For this simple paint, all you need is some brown and some aggressive shade. I've, I've got some dry brush paint from Games Workshop um, and I've got some brown paint from the MSP range. Um, for brushes I can use a small dry brush from Army Painter and a wash brush from Games Workshop. So firstly I'm going to use a dark brown. This is Saddle Brown from MSP Paints. Um, you don't need to water this paint down, it's very good, straight from the bottle. And all I'm going to do is go round at the bottom of the cloak on this miniature. So, you're just going over the highlighted areas. With the brown. It's a very simple, quick way to add a fantastic effect to your miniature base. Um, it just sets off the cloak or any material. It looks like they've been through the, the marshes or swamps. Or you can use it for anything. It just gives it that nice worn effect. Um, if, you, if your cloak is uh, dragging on the floor all day long, it's not going to stay sparkly clean. So add in a little bit of effect to the bottom of the cloaks just gives a added bit of realism to your miniature there we are simple as that so I'll wait for that to dry and then I'll show you the next stage now we're going to go to the next stage and I'm going to use some dry brush paint from Games Workshop and um, this one here and I will put a very very light dry brush of this over the top of the highlighted areas I'm using a small dry brush from Army Painter and it's just to go over the tops There we go. Perfect. So that's all you need. Just a very, very slight dry brush. And you're done. The next stage, all we do is we cover with a ink wash. And that will be our weathering done. So, the last stage, I'm just going to add a little bit of Agrax Earth Shade. This will really help uh, weather in the effects. I'm using a Games Workshop wash brush. Maybe just a tiny bit on your brush and go over the areas you've just painted. Go over the tops of where you've painted just a tiny bit. That will actually give you a hint of shading going into the um, mud effect. And once that dries, it will work very well. It will give a nice effect to the cloak at the bottom. It will give it a nice dirty effect. And there we are. That's all you need to do to add some nice little effects to the bottom of your cloaks or your miniatures. You can do this on all your miniatures 
um, and it, it will really enhance the way the miniature looks. So here is the finished miniature and as you can see it uh, gives a nice effect to the bottom of the cloak. So here you are, a simple, very effective way to enhance your Reaper miniatures or any miniatures and you can use this on many things. So until next time.